What's up guys? How are my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Dan. Today I'm just gonna quickly uh, talk about my experience with pentatonic acid. Uh, before I start, please consider following me on Instagram, on Facebook, subscribe to this channel for more videos related to skincare, nutrition, supplements, maybe some workout videos from time to time. So, pentatonic acid. This is actually vitamin B5. It is a pretty important vitamin for our body. However, uh, there are very, very rare cases where people are um, vitamin B5 deficient. Usually, you get it from your food. Uh, but people discovered they can actually clear their skin, they can actually erase their acne with the help of this vitamin. There are some pretty amazing, actually, before and afters on the internet. Um, that's why I decided to give it a shot. I did take B5 in 2019, but at that time I didn't have a channel, so um, I'm gonna share my experience now. When it comes to studies, there are not that many studies uh, showing that this actually works. There is one study, as far as I know, they used a supplement with pretty good results when it comes to clearing acne, but uh, that supplement besides B5 had many, many other vitamins, especially B vitamins. So. Um, not not enough data definitely to show that this actually works uh, but people on the internet swear by it there are some really really like I said some really amazing before and afters so I guess they should definitely study this more because um, why not if this can help a lot of people why not um, now in order to get good results with this one you should mega dose on it so um, you should take around 5 grams, which is 10 of these capsules. This is a pentatonic acid, 500 milligrams. It is a huge amount. Now, just so you guys know, uh, this one, 500 milligrams, that's 10,000% your daily value. So that's 100 times more than what you need. Uh, and imagine you, can, you should take 10 of this. That makes it 1,000 times more than what you need. It is a pretty safe vitamin, however, it is water-soluble, so um, you're just gonna pee the excess. But still, doesn't sound that healthy when you think about it. 1,000 times more than what you need, it's kind of like... I don't know, we don't know the long-term eff effects of this one. But uh, they say it's pretty safe just because it's water-soluble, so you're just gonna eliminate the excess right away. Uh, my experience with this one, um, I guess I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a backstory. I started getting acne when I was 12. Uh, I still do get acne. It's been 12 years of acne. <laughs> oh God, I'm getting old. So uh, during my teenage years, my acne was pretty, pretty bad. I had a pretty severe case of acne, I would say. My face was just full of pimples, postules, uh, cystic acne, close comedones, blackheads, you name it. <laughs> um, I was trying a lot of products, nothing worked, of course, because I, my knowledge when it comes to skincare at that time were pretty much unexistent. <laughs> but um, when I was 19, I just was so frustrated with the way my skin looked. I started, started digging more into skincare, reading a lot more. I discovered salicylic acid, which did wonders for my skin, retinol, benzoyl peroxide. So um, at 20, I would say my acne was pretty much under control with the help of those. I, would, I was still getting five, six pimples per week, I would say. Uh, for me, that was amazing just because I was comparing my, myself to, to myself in the past which I always encourage you guys to do. Don't ever compare yourself to anybody else. No matter if they have perfect skin or not so perfect skin, don't, don't compare to anybody, different genetics, different background. But um, I remember one day I was on Reddit or something, I don't know. I was just looking for this miracle acne cure. Uh, just because I had my bad days, I still have my bad days where I would compare myself to someone because uh, I'm doing all these efforts, I'm keeping a clean diet, I am uh, never skipping my skincare routine, spending all this money on skincare products, and I still do get acne. And on the other hand, there is someone that does nothing and has perfect skin. So I remember I was pretty frustrated that day, and I discovered pantothonic acid. Um, 
like I said, amazing before and afters. From Reddit, I went to YouTube, I watched some videos, again, great results. People were just so happy with it. So, of course, after watching those videos on YouTube, I went on iHerb, I ordered like five of these bottles of pentathonic acid, decided to give it a shot. I got the pentathonic acid, I, was, uh, I started taking uh, 10 per day right away. I was taking three in the morning, three in the afternoon, and four in the evening. And um, for the first two weeks, I actually noticed more acne. Not like a lot more, but definitely more. Uh, I was not afraid of it though, because I know about the purge, it, it's pretty normal. So first two weeks, more acne. In about a month, I noticed, instead of getting five to six pimples per week, I was getting four maybe, sometimes even three. So um, that was pretty, pretty promising. I kept on taking the B5, uh, no side effects whatsoever, no diarrhea or <laughs> some people get some really interesting side effects from this, nothing like that. It was, I was just feeling normal. I think I had more energy though. Maybe it was placebo, but um, it's pretty anecdotal. So take it with a grain of salt. Um, I took it for two months, three months. At around four months, I was finishing my, my B5 and um, there were no improvements. It was still around three, four pimples per week, which it is an improvement. It's like a 10, 15%, maybe 20% improvement. But uh, for me, it was not enough and it was not worth taking this. Uh, because I was expecting completely clear skin, but uh, it was just a little bit better. Yeah, basically, that's my experience. Now, for some people, 20% improvement may be worth it. For me, it was not. I was just spending a lot of money on this. And again, taking 10 of these per day feels kind of like not right, even though, even though I know it's probably right. I don't know, it's just I decided not to, not to take it anymore. Uh, it was not worth it for me. Now, I'm, I'm thinking if you have severe acne, maybe this would help, maybe this is worth it. Even going from severe acne to three, four pimples per week is definitely a huge improvement. So maybe in that case, this would be helpful. My experience, however, was not the, it was good. It's not worth it for me though. But yeah, people are different, and um, I know some of you guys have, have achieved some amazing results with this, and I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I'm so jealous. Uh, but uh, still, so far, I haven't found a miracle acne cure. It is under control, though. I'm pretty happy with my skin at the moment. I guess Accutane would be the miracle cure for me, but uh, I don't think I'm going to take that, because um, I don't think I need it. And uh, I don't think anybody would prescribe that to me because I don't have that much acne. Uh, so yeah, this, uh, however, I would take Accutane for my annoying oily skin. Very, very oily sometimes. Why do I look so shiny? Okay, guys, that was my experience with pentathonic acid. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried it. How was your experience with it? Um, and um, leave some, que uh, some questions in the comments below. I uh, love you all and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.